While we walked through the process of saving and exporting entire documents in the previous chapter on digital imaging essentials, we need to take a moment to learn how to export individual layers, layer groups, and multiple versions of a file to different formats and sizes. So just to review, if I select the file menu and choose to export and then export as, we do get a number of different options for selecting file settings like formats and image size and canvas size, but we can see that it's going to export all of the layers as a flattened single document. So I'm going to cancel out of here and let's select the logo layer group in the layers panel. Then I'll hold down the command key and select each one of these small images as well as the greens frame. I like it better than the grape, so I'm going to hide the visibility of that layer. All right, now instead of choosing the file menu, I'm going to select the layer menu and choose export as. We see the same export dialog, but now on the left-hand side, instead of having a single flattened image, I can see the logo layer group, as well as each one of the individual photographs that we selected. So I'm going to select the logo because I don't want it saved as a JPEG. So I'll change the format here to PNG so that I get the nice transparency around the circle. Then I'll select the tomato, peppers, pumpkins, and strawberries. And while you might think I would want to save these as JPEGs, Again, I'm going to change this to PNG so that I can get transparency around each one of these elements. I'll select the green frame, and this one, indeed, I do want JPEG, but I'm going to increase the quality to great. For all of these images, I'm going to select them, and I want to include the copyright and contact information, and I want them to be converted to sRGB. Now, if I needed multiple versions of these, say I low resolution and a high resolution version, I can choose to save multiple sizes at once. I can click the plus icon here and then choose from any of these different presets, or I can go ahead and create my own. For now, I'll just limit it to the one size, so I'll click the trash icon and then choose export. Photoshop is going to ask me where I want to save this. I'll go ahead and create a new folder and just call it export choose create, and then open. When we return to bridge, we can see the export folder. And when I double click to open it, there are all of the individual assets that were exported. So whenever you need to share either layers or layer groups within a document, be sure to select the desired layers or groups. And from the layers menu, choose export as.